hey y'all we're gonna do another week in the life um i feel like that's just a little bit easier for what's going on in life right now so that's what we're doing so today is sunday september 3rd it's just a very relaxed day i'm kind of just cleaning up around the house we had hamburger steak and rice and gravy last night so i've got those leftovers i'm heating up cooper some ramen noodles right now my mom is in arkansas getting a chocolate lab puppy um, and so it's just been a crazy weekend. My grandparents came yesterday and today it's kind of just cooling down finally. Um, so yeah, just fixing to wash some dishes. Mason's napping. Cooper's just chilling watching Mickey Mouse on the couch. I filmed Mason's Boo Bucket or Spooky Basket video. So that'll be up before this video probably. Haven't gotten to the other two kids because I haven't finished theirs, but Mason's is done. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on. Fixing some lunch for everybody. Just chilling. Tomorrow I have an interview at a daycare. It's better than nothing and these people have been trying to get in contact with me. And um, I didn't see the message for like two weeks on Indeed.com. And I went on my email last night and it popped up that she had messaged me. Well, I messaged right back, is the job still available? Three weeks later, she said, yes, can you come this day? I was like, yeah. If it's been sitting there for three weeks, two minutes down the road for me, maybe it's meant to be. So, we shall see. I'm going to do that tomorrow at 12.30. So, yeah, just cleaning up and just chilling today. Last, So, last week, I um, showed y'all my planner for the beginning of the week. Um, and I never showed y'all the end of it, how quickly it can change. So, I thought I would show y'all ending of last week's in my planner and then I thought I would show you what's coming up for today and next week while we're vlogging so if you go back and watch that week in the in the life this thing was like bare basically just meals and workouts written down but this is how we're ending the week my next week go work out four days it's just been really helping my mental health working out more often, so, yeah. Um, let me show you this coming week. So, here is the plan for this week. Tomorrow, I have an interview. Cajun pasta. I need to bring Cooper back to his dad at 5 tomorrow. I'm going to sleep and mop tomorrow if I have time and clean the kitchen and living room, which is a basic. I do that every day. Um, Tuesday italian chicken for dinner and green beans clean the bathroom and work out 20 minutes i need to do my workout today too i haven't done that wednesday tacos and corn for dinner work out clean the bedrooms and hallway and i called the room over there the christmas room because that's where we put the christmas tree but it's not the christmas room but it's just what i call it chicken fried rice clean the kids room i do a deep clean friday chicken ranch pitas Cooper be with his dad, but I have it marked just to keep up with it. Workout that day as well. I skip the workout on Thursday and clean the living room and kitchen. Just that's like more of a deep clean when I put that because I straighten it up daily. Saturday would be workout and meal prep possibly and laundry on Sunday since hopefully we'll have some leftovers from all those meals. So we shall see where the week takes us. So it's two o'clock. Mason's up from his nap. I turned a movie on for the kids. The Greatest Showman. It's one of my favorite Disney movies of all time. Um, and I did a little bit in the living room and the Christmas room. So I'm going to show you what I did so far. See how y'all like it. So I took that couch out of the Christmas tree room and just scooted the stand over and the recliner. And I left this couch where it was and it kind of opened up the floor and I need to clean it up a little bit. But that space in there is empty, so I'm thinking of either thinking of either uh, pushing a couch right there or moving my desk right there. I don't know yet. But uh, I thought with the holidays and everything coming up and and Mason's birthday, it would be good just to have some extra um, couches in here for family. Because I don't know if we're doing it in or outside because it is November and you just never know in Louisiana. So I thought it would be a good idea to push them in here and it seems to be working a little bit. The kids both like sleeping in here at night, the older ones. So when they're both here, you can go on that couch, you go on that couch, and that's the end of the story. So thought it was a good idea. Hey y'all, it's still Sunday. It's 6.15. We are all exhausted. 
Um, we're just going to do leftovers tonight or cereal for the kids if, or ramen noodles if they don't want leftovers. Or maybe some chicken nuggets and some fruit. Um, but like I told y'all, I'll have an interview tomorrow. But they have not been able to fill this spot at all for like a month. So I'm pretty sure they want me because they keep constantly coming for interview with my uh, previous job history of teaching. So I'm pretty sure they're going to give me the job. Um, but this is like a 12 month out of the year job. I'll still be vlogging and things like that um, and still be doing YouTube. Um, but like I told y'all, I'm saving a lot, trying to save as much as I can for a vehicle. So my plan going back to work, if this does go through, is save everything that I make pretty much other than daycare. Um, I always pay for like the Christmas gifts. Well, most of them like last year I couldn't because I was on bed rest and couldn't afford it. So some years Nick will pick up the slack and do it for me. Some years I'll do it. This year I'm going to pay for Christmas gifts and things like that. Um, and Mason's birthday, just all that I pay for. That'll come out of like my work check. So holidays, birthdays, um, household budget and gas and daycare will come out of my paycheck. And then the rest is going to be put up from that paycheck for a new car and my debt. And yeah, that's kind of the plan. Y'all know I have the boutique. I'm still going to keep that open. And the plan for that, the money that comes from that will be like how I've always done. Like if the kids need something like clothing or shoes or if we just need anything, usually that comes out of that and that takes all the money that I make that's pretty much what I use it for so that's pretty much what I use that for it's basically just extra spending money there um, but yeah that's the plan um, so yeah that's the plan there sorry Cooper's riding his dirt bike I just told him once the Sun went down a little bit we'd be come out and play and Mason's sitting in the wagon right here um, so yeah Hopefully sometime after the new year, we'll hit a thousand subscriber and I'll be able to put in for monetization or however you say that on YouTube. Pretty sure I'll be cleared. I don't see any reason I wouldn't be. Um, I know it's not much, but that also would go in as like extra money for whatever, for videos, things like that. Also for um, just whatever. That's what I plan to use that money for from YouTube. It's just what the kids need. I need maybe saving up for some debt. I haven't really thought about it because I don't know what a YouTube paycheck would look like for me yet until I hit that mark and get approved. But yeah, we're getting close. We've hit a 733 subscribers as of today and it's like going up one or two by the day. And I know y'all are seeing this like a month behind. So I'm trying to be like by October it could be up to 800 who knows 750 something like that so just sitting outside the animals got some hay so they don't need any feed um, and yeah we're just hanging outside for a little while and then we're gonna go in and start eating dinner and getting ready for bed because we're all exhausted today I also have been asked about like a wish list um, so when I do get monetized I may actually just use the money to open up a P.O. box. I don't really feel comfortable giving our address or friend and family addresses on here on YouTube. Just protective of our family. Even though it seems like a lot of y'all are very sweet and y'all are all very sweet. There are sometimes trolls and haters and I just don't want something showing up in our mailbox that's funny. Um, but I, I think that is might what I do. I might open up a P.O. box. Um, and put an Amazon wish list because I did get asked for an Amazon wish list a few times through email. Um, so I think that's what we might do. I think we might use a little bit of money that I make on YouTube to open up a PO box and we can get letters from y'all. We can get packages and whatever y'all want to send. It's totally up to y'all, but like I said, it was asked that I make a wish list and I just haven't done it yet. Like I have private wish lists that I put on my Amazon. Um, for things the kids ask for during the year when holidays and birthdays come up or things that I see that I think I might want to get the kids, you know, I put it on an Amazon wish list and then I go back to that list when a holiday or birthday comes up and I shop around for the best price if I still want to get it. Um, but those will be, probably be private. Those will be, probably be private unless eventually y'all would like me to add my private list 
to um, a wish list for y'all. Um, if y'all would want, I could, you know, put it on there. And when y'all send things in like that, I could save it for holidays or whatever. Um, but yeah, I might do that. Let me know if you want me to put the private stuff on there that I do for holidays and stuff. I mean, my kids don't really look at YouTube and things like that. So they're not going to see any of that. But yeah, let me know. <laughs> he did it two times. Just like gobble, shit. gobble, gobble. Yo, they have like six. Of I want to go in there. Right. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Take, do it again. Do it again. Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. I'll give you some food. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Want some food? Do it. <laughs> look at the aliens. If you look close at their eyes, they look like aliens because their eyes are nothing but black. <laughs> 